State Police, 911. Yes, I'm driving down um, 91. Um, my daughter, my daughter's water just broke. I'm flying down the highway. I don't. Uh, trying to get the same place to hospital. Monday night, Connecticut State Police Dispatcher Lori Linares got the call. A mom was in labor on I-91. Okay, is this her first child? This is her second one. And how far apart are her contractions? Um, one and you wait for one minute. I was thinking that they really needed to pull over and, you know, get the help that they needed because that baby was coming, um, and she also said that she could feel the head, that the head was there, and, you know, I knew that that baby was coming. Lori stayed calm as she directed Grandma on what to do next. She said a baby is coming. Okay, we'll tell her not to push. Does she, feel like, does she, does she feel like she want to pull over and we'll send an yes. ambulance? Don't push. The baby is coming. She said, don't push. The baby's out. Once he came out and uh, grandma was worried he wasn't crying or anything, so I wanted to make sure that he was breathing. So, uh, you know, that's when I had her start to check to make sure that he was breathing and to clear his airway, you know, clean out his mouth, that kind of stuff. And you know, once she started to do that, you know, he started to cry, and that was a, you know, beautiful sound. It's a boy. Yes, it's a boy. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, my God. Just keep checking on Mama and the baby. They all did a great job, you know, especially Grandma. She did a great job. She did everything. <laughs> you know, I just coached her along and kept her calm. You know, we try to stay calm and everything. Um, this one was different because I actually got to, you know, complete the call because normally help gets there before the mother delivers. Um, but this time, you know, that the baby wanted out. <laughs> Wow, what an experience. And we are told that mom and baby are doing well. I'm Amanda Rouse, Fox 61 News.